Babe, you wanna close the door? Cause I'm gonna be talking to the camera, so I don't wanna bother you if you're gonna be on the phone and stuff. You wanna join the vlog? <laughs> I don't even know how to start this. It's been so long since I've been on YouTube. I like don't know what to say. I don't know how to start it. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back. Um, after what feels like four years to my YouTube channel, where to even begin? Like literally everything has changed since the last sit down video that I've posted. I think my last two videos I posted were my Bali vlog and my Adirondacks vlog. So travel vlogs, which is a big part of our life that's been missing lately. So that's definitely something that we haven't been doing the last two years because of, you know, anywhere that you are in the world, you know. Um, but literally everything has, has changed since I last updated you guys. So let me start by saying, um, I'm engaged. Uh, <laughs> Obi, if you hear him, he's just ruffling around on the ground as per usual. Um, me and my boyfriend Will are engaged. We also bought a house. This is where I am sitting at. So if you saw my last sit down video, I think I was in my apartment. So now we have our house and we spent the last couple years making it perfect, doing a bunch of DIYs, doing a bunch of home decor. So that is going to be a small portion of what these videos hopefully will focus on. Um, the reason I'm coming back on here after so much time is that I truly do miss the creative aspect that comes with making YouTube videos. I think that's something that's lacking in my life right now. And you know, we're kind of stuck inside, um, which we can update you guys more on what's going on when it comes to Verona a little later um, where we are. But today we are gonna be running errands. Um, I am planning Obi's um, fourth birthday. So if you've been <laughs> subscribed to my channel since my videos when I got my Obi, he is a corgi puppy, I will put, um, a photo right here um, but now he's turning four time flies and i am going to be throwing him a little party so that'll be one of the errands that we're going to go on today picking up the stuff for that which it's a bit of a little diy and if you're going to say who throws a dog a birthday party well what else are we doing right now you know we're not celebrating anything not seeing anyone so we might as well have some fun and have a dog's birthday party and I know four is not a huge milestone, but you know what? It's gonna be cute. We're gonna make some party hats, which you'll see. And yeah, maybe we'll make a little cocktail, show you guys how to make that. And just, you know, this video will kind of just to be, get back into the YouTube world, just updating, vlogging. So let's do it. that that's clean. Um, I also work from home and I don't have an office because Will takes the office upstairs. So I just put all my work stuff on the dining room table and then I take it apart every night when I'm done work. So I'm done work now. I'm gonna take that apart real quick. How does work? Busy. Busy. I just told them that we're engaged. We are. We are engaged. So we are going to make a grocery list for everything that we need for dinner tonight. For, I think we're going to dinner at my parents tomorrow, so I don't need for dinner tomorrow. But we are hosting the birthday brunch for Obi this weekend, so maybe we'll add some stuff for that as well. What else do we need at the grocery store? I think that's it. I think we're running out of a few staples as well. So let's make a plan. Ah. 
Just yet, in a few days. All right, next. at the dollar store I got some pom-poms because I'm gonna make some hats for Obi's birthday on Saturday we're having my family over I should say our family you know because we're engaged it's your family too now <laughs> having our family over for brunch uh, to celebrate Obi's birthday and I got some party hats that I got printed out it was like from a template on Pinterest I could probably I'll link them down below because they're super cute from this other store that made them now we're gonna go home have some dinner, make a drink. Probably something simple, just some frozen pizza. We have one that we really like, but they didn't have the flavor that we usually have, so. Tell us about the cocktail that you're gonna make. Um, it's a classic Aperol spritz made with Quebec. Spritz. Aperol. Aperol. <laughs> yeah, so uh, Will found Aperol that is local from Quebec. We have been trying to expand our Quebec, which is where we're from, by the way, if you're watching this and you're like, where the fuck are you talking about? Um, Quebec in Canada. Uh, they have a lot of like their local um, distilleries and stuff, so we had never tried the Aperol, so we'll see how they turn out. We'll do a little taste test. And uh, we're gonna get some pizza. Maybe watch some Game of Thrones, because we've been re-watching the seasons just for fun. And some reading just a casual night it's a thursday. casual thursday it's a night thursday. so catch you back at home I'll tell you what I had in mind for the party hats. So I got some of these party hat stencils, which are from Casa Pizzi. She made these. Um, I'll link them down below if ever you guys want to have some cute party hats. Um, but there's three different patterns and I got these printed at the local staples in like cardstock. So just this white bone one, one with like the little puppies and then the bone one, but in this like tan color. So I got six of these. I'm just going to cut these out. Also got some pom poms to put like at the top of the hat once it's like, you know, cut and like glued. To do the gluing, I was really in need of a good, um, I'm drawing a blank. What is this called? Hot glue gun. Hot glue gun. <laughs> I need a hot glue gun. 
So we found this one, which actually uses like the, the thicker sticks. I think this is like the 7 16 inch width, which is like way better than the really cheap little one that I had that would like barely heat up the glue at all. So this we're gonna get to try out. I also got a whole single hole punch, which I've never had one of these before, but I think it'll just be convenient to have around to make the holes in the hat and then some elastic string to make the like underneath portion. And then I got some balloons, some of these um, paw print balloons. Obi's actually terrified of balloons, so I'm not sure if we'll end up using these, but I just had a, like a vision of them just like blowing them up and putting them on the ground. So yeah, that's my little haul for Obi's birthday. So show us your ingredients. Orange. It's called the Zest from Quebec. It's like their equivalent of Aperol. Mmm. And then sparkling wine. Perfect. Mousseur. Mousseur, yes. And then soda water. There's not soda for coffee. Review, because we um, drank in a lot of Aperol in our day. The Quebec Aperol isn't as potent, like as strong tasting as the, I'm assuming it's Italian, like the brand Aperol, right? You know what we're talking about. Fun fact about Aperol is our next trip that we're planning is actually Italy, if one day we're able to travel again, God knows. But if we do, then we will be drinking these from from the root from the oh yeah a little bit strong <laughs> Woo! -hoo! actually don't really like it huh? well. a little frozen mm. pizza and aperol